trying to set up a dev environment on uh, ubuntu system and yeah it's it's a follow-up after the dot file setup and trying to fetch manual packages and now we are going to set up new web so as you can see i have already cloned or downloaded the new vim dev file from releases folder using wget and now we are going to install it so uh, we want new vim yep and we have an error that's because we already have uh, the new vim desktop file which is from the uh, Ubuntu is native and web package, right? So let's go ahead and remove that. Tar. And let me do new web. Yeah. Okay. Let me log out as well. I think that will be better. Okay, we are logged in and I also want to change the native cell to ZSH. So that's ZSH. Uh, okay, I think it's hyphen S. Do you have password? Yeah, let's try logging in one more time. we should go to zsh directly now so yeah let's go to our projects directory we have new vim here again let's try and install it okay we still see an error um, i think we need to do a purge so i'm just gonna get new vim again install it okay uh, now i'm going to do a sudo apt purge on new vim Okay, let's try and install new vim one more time and yeah now it's installing but in vim desktop again you know what i'm gonna manually remove it so users here applications and vim desktop Yes, I want to remove it. What else? Use the applications. We also need to remove the NVIM runtime. NVIM. NVIM runtime. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't get purged when I uninstalled NeoVim. okay now let's try it one more time yep we have new vim now so let me show you what the configs look like for new vim so this is from the nvim 2k repository uh, so yeah i think i just launched new vim and as you can see all of the configs are being installed so this will basically set up everything you need for neovim and everything is installed already uh, it's complaining about typescript because we don't have node it's trying to install some tree sitter stuff for now let me just okay let, let the uh, parsers install uh, meanwhile i'll close this 
and yeah this is the new vim config basically these are all of the plugins i'm using lazy for plugin management and i've got lsp and stuff configured before that i think i'll i think it will need updating yeah it, it's complaining about ts server and his lint not being here which, which even i like i don't use that much so you know what i'm just gonna disable that for now lsp zero and i don't need these right so yeah let me try and okay so this was expected let me try and run the update remote plugins okay now we have done that it should not yep we have everything that we need for uh, awesome editing experience see we have this integrated lazy get integrated we have all of the plugins and stuff so yeah i'm, I'm not gonna go the really in depth in, in this video but this is a really powerful editor that you can use to do a lot of things and yeah maybe uh, in a future video i will go in depth into dot files new vim and deleted configs but this was just a quick setup for a dev machine and i might make a version for arch as well uh, and that that should go much smoother because of the aur support but yeah we'll see um thanks for watching again and yes i'll see you in the next one